Hey guys, Big Bennis, how you all doing? We're uh, we're hunting Huons today. Huon Youngs. So let's just tag one out here. Had to wait. I had to wait a long time. The night cycle here is like friggin' ridiculous sometimes. I guess it's the same as on Calypso, but man, it was just like 40 minutes an hour, something like that, I guess, or longer. But it's starting to, starting to become morning here, as you guys can see. So. Yeah, here Arcadia, Huon Youngs. Nothing, nothing, uh, nothing crazy this time around. So we're using the uh, the Herman Cap 404 Desert or Dessert, tasty desserts. Uh, but it's got some good stats. It does some um, some decent damage. 95 with the, with the A105. It's got the shittiest tier rates I've ever seen on a weapon. Um, I'll probably never even unlock the first tier for damage enhancers, but. Oh well. Alright, first one, loot. Yikes. A little green paint in there. It's always terrible. <laughs> That's always terrible. Uh, Huon Hide is the, uh, one of the uglier hides. And we got, is this wood? I don't, I don't know if the wood's anywhere. Uh, I guess the wood has a little bit of markup. I wasn't sure if it was even used for anything. Ooh, and I just took a crit and I gave him a crit right back. My crit was bigger. My crit was bigger, bitch. So, so how's everybody doing? Hope you guys are freaking doing awesome, wonderful, and hopping and globally and rocking. Another crit, you stingy little bastard. Better give up something good. Mm, well, could have given me something better than that. Healing with an herb box, of course. Now, why wouldn't I? Pretty cheap. All right, let's go find some some more here. Got a whole freaking herd right in front of me. I turn around I'm like, oh, go this way. So, <laughs> just uh, basically doing the quest, finishing up a couple things here and there. Um, you know, the first 75. That was my uh, what I was going for. Get some uh, skill points. This um, I already did the Huons for first 75, and I think I got um, what did I get off of these guys? Uh, inflict melee damage or something like that. So all those melee skills are really good to get um, for uh, for HPs, hit points, stuff. But I'm just selling stuff on auction like it's nobody's business. Come on, baby. Pop piggy something to freaking write home about. <laughs> so, yeah. This is it. Burnt umber. Or umber. Not, not burnt. I think the burnt one. Is there burnt umber? I think there is. It's got no markup. It's crappy. Hoping to get something like an ESI or something like that. <clears throat> These mobs drop some good stuff. The Arcadian mobs still drop like unlimited weapons and stuff. I was just uh, doing a little bit of Kadra, and those things beat the crap out of me. You know, they don't have as many hit points, uh, it seems as though. I don't think they do, actually. I think they have like half the hit points as Huons, but they hit like twice as hard. Um, and people have found like unlimited smugglers and, and makos, which are uh, which are knives. Smugglers are weapons. Um, uh, or Mako's are this, like a machete type of sword type of thing. I think it's supposed to be like a machete. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, and, you know, armor parts and stuff. I have not found like anything. Uh, a couple team hunts, we found some uh, Mind Force chips and some weapons. Uh, like Plaz Torch. No, we found a, a Plaz Torch 5 off of a, uh, a Scoria the other night, which was kind of cool. It, it, I don't think it even came off of global either. I think it was just the, just the sun. It was a full, full TT. It was like forty something ten. It's a nice deposit there. Uh, the glove. No loving, no loving. Fox Alexia. Bacterian dust. Twelve hundred petter. Nice. Ooh, I got a six, six ped loot there. The Huon hide. So yeah. Um. Someone had found an Justin Langanus arm can cannon on Calypso from a Warlock. 
that's fucking cool to see too. <clears throat> that is really cool to see. I guess if you camp mobs uh, long enough, you'll you'll eventually see something like that. Not me though. I've never had that much luck. Um, I camped CP for like weeks a couple years ago, and I just didn't get anything. I like CP. It's you know the the Orli and the Krelton have uh, a decent rate for skill chips. It's always really good. They always have awesome markup. I usually never come down there without a skill chip, but it's this. Terrible. Wow. No markup on that. It's crazy loot. Like, you saw the other loot was like six pad. This is what? Two, three, four. Three and a half. There's a wide range. I mean, look at all these, look at all these mobs. You guys just chew through and just sit here. It's a damn shame my gun couldn't take a a damage enhancer. It's like the only enhancers I use is damage enhancers. But it's good stuff, you know. These don't do anything to me. The knight armor plus five uh, B, which is what I'm wearing as far as armor is, is uh, it's really good. It's good protection for most of the mobs here. The only thing that really hurts me is uh, the cadger hurts me, and I can't do the camelad camelodons. Um, with Knight 5Bs, although I really never try the Camelodons. But I'm I'm pretty certain that they will chew right through it. Um, use stealth on them, but I probably won't hunt them again. Good mob to hunt, it's just that I'm I'm done. I did my 75, got my, my evade skill chip 0.9 or 0.7 of the evade chip. Gave me um gave me like two dozen skill points. <laughs> so I don't know. I, w w once you get higher in skill, it's not worth really chipping or, or doing any of that. That's my opinion, my humble opinion. I am H O. So it's a beautiful, lovely Arcadia morning. Pig Bennis hasn't had a cup of coffee, and uh, we're just here. We're just hunting a little bit. Still selling off that Vita Hoff. Um, I really haven't sold much of any of it, really. Um, so I'll just hold on to it. I don't really have the need to sell it right now. I haven't found anything I really wanted to purchase. I wanted to get either an SGA, an adjusted, or an improved excavator, but I haven't seen any for sale. Uh, Tezapu has some in his shop in Twin Peaks, but it's an improved, and I, he wants, I think, like 10.5k for it, and I just don't want to spend that much money on it. And it looks like FOMA may be hot today. Seen some large, large hops come out of FOMA today, so you may see a hunting with pig menace or a mining with pig menace in FOMA this week. Not sure. I really want to get back to Calypso and hmm, took a little crit there. Let's just heal up a little bit just to outlast another crit if I get nailed. Um my base is pretty high, so I I don't take that much hits. Of course, now I said I'm fucking taking them back to back. Of course, that's how it works. So. Uh, PVP four. That's what I want to go back to Calypso for and do that again. That was good. I had really some really good runs in PVP four um, when I made that video. Uh, the video was um, I made 20 pet or something like that. Uh, I did end up making pet off of it. Markup and whatnot, but uh, the runs that I did afterwards were just really good. I don't think I global at all in there, but uh, it was just really, just really good stuff. Larges and size pulls and whatnot. So. And when you're finding blood moss and uh, whatever else I was finding in there, it's, it's good. I a lot of gold in there. Come on, baby. I also want an SGA Apollo too, and that'd be a nice little little toy to have around, especially here in Arcadia with the uh, the Carabox and the, the Tyx and stuff like that. Some good hunting hops here. There was a Belladoth hop here the other day. Uh, Leviathans were hitting last night. They're not here, but they're on Cali. <clears throat> Let's 
see. That one didn't loot as well. This is a nice little... I didn't realize weak cloth extractors had to mark up. They do. I save all my extractors. Sometimes I use them. I like they do a little texture in here and there. There's some really good textures here in Arcadia, and then there's like really bad ones like Huon, Kadra, Camelodons. They're just like terrible texture. But then you have the Halix, uh, the Karabakh, which is really cool. The Tyak is really awesome. The Scoria texture is like it's pretty cool. It's different, you know. Reminds me of like it's like an 80s type of texture. Damn. Shit, son. Hmm. There's almost four. Almost four pad. Mature. Let's go for a mature. Let's let's tag him out of the, the freaking pack there. Steel birds are uh are on Cali. I've never done a fucking shared lead. I've never done a wave event. Terrible. I'm so terrible. Um, where was I? Oh, uh, the e the Eamons? I, I, uh, I was hanging around the Eamon spawn, bombing it and, uh, mining it and whatnot. Don't forget, guys, I had promised myself and pretty much everybody that watches that I would not hunt again until I hit a five-figure hop. And, and bam, it happens, and now I'm hunting again. A little bit. A little bit. Not that much. It's just, it, there's like no money at all in hunting anymore, it, so it seems. I, the, the few times, I've probably spent a thousand or two thousand pet hunting, and I have not seen anything worth the markup to to make it worth it. Um, I mean, look at this. Look at this loot, actually. This is fucking terrible. One... Uh, buck 13. I mean, no wonder why you guys scream and cry on the forums. It's, it's kind of crazy. That's why I always say mining, you know? Go, go freaking mine. I think Ampless Mining is the safest bet here in, in Entropia, other than uh, uh, trading, obviously. Kinda hard to lose money trading. You do it right. And you don't ruin your name by being an asshole. Cause that has happened. Come on, baby. Drop me an ESI, drop me a fucking gun or something. Give me something good here. Ooh, he just popped up right next to me. We're just gonna take him. Fresh meat for the grinder. Oh, I hit that six petter, and then and now we're hitting like one or two peds. <clears throat> so you guys digging this? You guys like the uh, the hunting with pig Bennis? It's a uh, just adds a little flavor to the channel. Um, we got the hunting with pig Bennis, the mining with pig Bennis. Look at that! He almost had whiplash there. Oh damn! He's like he's smacking himself in the face with the gun. It's like the Scoria video. Oh my god! Like one of the Scorias nailed me so bad. Like my whole upper upper torso was just flailing about. Must have been a bug. It had to have been a bug. But it was. It was so. I was laughing my ass off going over Scoria footage for that video. And at the time, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So yeah, let me get back to my point here. Um, we have hunting with pig menace, mining with pig menace, ask pig menace, and then I, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce something. It has nothing to do with entropy gameplay. Um, I'm going to cover like two games a week or two games every other week, and it, just like a review. Uh, it's going to be two games in an episode, and each game is going to be like five minutes. And basically, I'm just going to take footage of me playing the game, explaining what the game is about, and that's it. And I, I hope you guys support it. Um, if not, hey, you know it's cool. It's always this this channel is always going to be uh, Entropy Universe videos. Um, I just need to add a little something different keep it fresh and uh, and exciting and there's a lot of good stuff out there right now you know 
Uh, not as as far as MMOs are concerned. I think it's pretty much all crap. But... Ooh, let's see what we sold. You guys ready? Hydrogen gas, 180% markup. What the fuck? Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's awesome, isn't it? Look at that. Not very many places will you be able to get 180% for your ore and, and matter. But if you focus and you put in your efforts to to go for the gold, so to speak. Now that's a terrible. That's a terrible transition because gold in this game is worthless. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Um, go for the hydrogen gas, so to speak. Go for the gas. That's all I was doing last night. I had about 10 level 7s, and um, just racket. I just went to the best hydrogen gas areas I knew, and I was just like, you know, I'm going for the gas, and I and I hit quite a bit, a lot of gas. I guess you could say I had a lot of gas last night. But it's terrible. Speaking of gas, maybe I, I know some of you guys are Swedish because I I could tell by the video analytics. But what the hell is plop? Plop. Supposedly it's a candy from Sweden. I don't know too much about it. I guess I could Google it. But fucking lazy guys. Come on. Uh, so if you could just leave a comment below and explain what plop is. Because I've heard so much about it. And I love, I love candy. Oh, you don't even know. I love candy so much my wife's name is Candy. That's not even a joke, dude. I'm not even fucking around. Like, seriously? I married my wife because her name is Candy. <laughs> That's terrible. That's fucking terrible. That is terrible, actually. But yeah, I mean, uh, gummy bears. I think gummy bears. Haribo gummy bears are my favorite. Um, shock tarts. Oh, man, they're so good, too. Snickers. Anything with chocolate. Really, anything with chocolate. Um... My parents' neighbors are Russian. We go over there, and and they they come up for Christmas, and uh, they bring these these chocolates, and they're literally filled with liquor. And I don't mean like liquor how we have in the states, like liqueur. Like it's filled with like fucking vodka. Like there's a vodka in these chocolates. You eat like two, you're bombed. All right, it's starting to pick up. We're gonna do. <clears throat> oh my god! Sorry about clearing my throat. It's hot here, and like my allergies are starting to, starting to get real bad. Oh, look at that! 300% for the day. Strong cloth extractor. Hmm. There's any market for explosive projectiles here. What the hell was I even talking about? Oh yeah, yeah, liquor. Good. It's good. Good chalk, like Russian chocolate. Can't, you can't even taste the chocolate. What am I saying? It's not good. It's terrible. You can't even taste the chocolate. You taste the liquor. It's just it's like a shot of liquor in each chocolate. It's absurd. It's absurd. Alright, here we go. Well, guys, it doesn't look like we're getting any globals here. Sorry about that, but it's just the way our fucking rolls, man. Um, maybe maybe Mining Pig Venice get a, get a global too. Maybe um, you guys want me to get a FOMA? What you want to do? How about FOMA? I know, I know you want me to. How about this? How about? I don't want to promise two episodes. How, I tried doing four episodes of Mining with Pigmentus yesterday, and you know how many I got done? Zero. And I'll tell you what, I had phone calls. Like it seemed that every time I turned on the, uh, every time I, I, I switched on Fraps to record my run. Freaking phone call. They were good runs too last night. I'm f I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it right now. All right, here we go. Let's just get in. Let's get into the fray. Let's just go for the fucking gusto. Adaptive fire rate. Oh god damn. Worth nothing matter. Oh my god. Let's see. How much was this? Two. Two point six. That's. Four, that's five ped, five and a half. Alright. <clears throat> so this is like 5.6 right uh, on that mob. So, I mean, let's, let's see what happens. Let's give it two more mobs. This could be a long video. I'm not sure even how, how long. I never time these things, you know? 
I just hope, like, alright, maybe it'll be, like, 10 to 15 minutes, and then YouTube will, you know, maybe it'll be quick about it, they'll upload it within two hours. Nah, it's usually, like, a five-hour upload. I have to do it overnight. Alright, alright, I'm feeling a, a global. I'm feeling a global. Because that's three, that's five. Mm-hmm. I'm wasting time by healing. Watch, I said that, and I don't get a fucking global. I look like an idiot. Oh my god, that's a terrible Hoff to get. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Harmony Della Simpson. 69 ped Hoff. Oh my god, what if I get a, a 70 petter? It's gonna Hoff. I'm gonna freak out. And then I'll look down and be like, oh, 70 ped. I was robbed. I think I was robbed already. Jesus, I, I came out here with 200 pet ammo. Shoot through. I'm already. I'm at a third of it. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That works. Give me a little love in here. It, it would really help if this thing would just freaking tear already. It probably won't ever tear. Because then I could get over 100, 100 damage per click. Oops, got real close to that bad boy over there. I need ideas, guys. I need ideas for videos, if you guys have any. Let me know in the comments below. Anything that you want to see, I know someone had rec uh, uh, want to see some Rocktropia mining. And uh, I'm getting there. I am. I will definitely do that for you guys. Eventually. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking maybe next week. Uh, basically, what my plan was was to go to foam. I do a little bit of mining there, maybe do a video there. Uh, hit up PvP four again because I had so much fun last time, um, and I just did absolutely incredible. And then um, we'll shoot to Rock Tropium. You know, do a few bits there. Um, you know, I got to keep it fresh and exciting. I I had planned on doing a video here yesterday, but it feels though as though I've covered a lot of Arcadia. And there's not much more to, to cover here. Um, plus there was a big hop here last night, which I'll cover in the next the next mining episode with Pig on this. So I don't want to spend too much time here. Other than going for hydrogen steam. Quill sap has just absolutely become freaking ridiculous to find as well. It's heartbreaking. I was, I was heading up the leaderboard for Cool Sap. I was uh, 23 globals as the most globals ever found. Oh, back to back crits. Papa likes. Yeah, Ooh, I crit. How about you freaking crit on my pet card and give me a e ESI? <clears throat> Look at those rare crits. Jesus. Jesus. Terrible. I shouldn't. I shouldn't say. I, you know, I curse a lot in my videos. Have you guys noticed that, like the the Vita one, the, uh, when I found the tower, like I wish I didn't curse as much in that. I'm I was almost a little embarrassed that I cursed so much in that video, but I was excited. Good times. Good times. I still have like most of that. <laughs> that half is sitting in storage. I, I've only sold like a couple k of it. Wow, look at these crits. Maybe something's coming my way here. Maybe that's why I'm critting so much. I don't think I've ever crit like that before, just like back to back almost. That dude's name is Sudwork Suds Nacho Cheese. <laughs> oh man, I love seeing other creative names. In fact, one of my better buddies in Entropia uh, is a egg roll one dollar. <laughs> we used to be guildies, but 
he has since formed his own guild, or soch, I should say, soch society. Alright. Alright, here we go. This is, this is the Huon to, to break the freaking Huon mold here. Yeah, there's been a lot of good names, um, over the year. Like, you know, Egril, I, I love his name. Um, oh my god. Uh, Cunning, <laughs> Cunning Linguist. <laughs> If you really think about kind of linguist, uh, yeah, just just Google it. No, don't. Maybe you should. Pete, that's like rated R, X, X probably. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's a fun name too. Oof. Yikes. All right. Maybe like an hour of me just shooting lootless Huons. Crit, man. I'm, I'm digging the crits. Look at that. I'm just a critting fool. That's why I want to stay around because that's that's um it's uncommon. I don't want to leave the area because it's uncommon. And I've noticed uncommon things are good. So we will see. Not that good though. <laughs> this was oh, this is just about a full 200 ped run, so you guys can see how bad and how terrible they really do loot. Unless I get a global, um, it should even things out because every every one was about five ped or so. I'm not carrying too much. Uh, ten? About ten in a while. Where's the? Wait a sec. Wait one hot moment. Come on, baby. Come on. Fifty-eight. How much is this bad boy? Two. Weak cloth extractor. I thought it was doing better than this. What the fuck? Terrible. Tell terrible. Wait, I wonder if I came out with 200 pet or 100. I have no idea. Well, this is how not to hunt. <laughs> Uh, pretty much. Give it, let's give it one or two more here. I, and I've said that like six of them ago. Oh, hides. That's, is that what I missed? Did I look at the hides? See how many hides I have? Let's take a look at my hide count here. Okay, Piggy, shoot. There we go. I call him Piggy. There's some. <laughs> There's my last mining run. Too many highs. Not too many. Yeah, pretty terrible run. Pretty freaking terrible. And this has got to be the last Huon because I am just about out. Of loot. And, or not loot, bullets. All right, guys, that's it. We're gonna uh, we're gonna go back to the TT and and just give you guys an estimate how much I lost. I'm gonna say it's about 150 pet, but one second. All right, guys, we just got TT'd, not TT'd. Derp. We TT'd back. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. See what our TT value was. And I believe it was a 200 pet run. Nova Fragments aren't worth anything. Oh, it's so rough. It's so rough. It's gonna be bad. Did I lose anything there? Oh, okay. 
not too shabby. So ninety five ped. 96, 95 ped loss there. And did I lose anything miscellaneous? I don't think so. Let's check the repair bill. Armor is about 10 ped. Let's do that. So it's 105. And then weapon this 22. So 127 ped loss. Which is pretty bad it's pretty freaking bad but um make up a little bit of it in the uh, the sale of these here items um pretty much to be expected so i did really well on teledons the other night so gotta give a little bit back so anyway guys thanks for watching hunting with pig bennis i hope this wasn't too long let me know in the comments below if you guys like hunting with pig bennis if i should continue doing it um I, i'm just going to do a different mob every time um and hopefully hopefully um we'll get some more globals and stuff and i will try to attach some globals at the end of this video okay thanks for watching bye Yeah, I win.